We're on day seven. I hope you've been staying up with me. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope it's a, a very small price to pay for starting to get a feel for what the story of the Bible is. Anyway, in this, uh, the, today we're going to be reading chapters 19, 20, and 21. And we pick up where we left off in chapter 19 uh, with the story of Sodom. Uh, the Lord is going to destroy Sodom and that this is what happens. So it's going through the whole process of destroying it, uh, conversations that, uh, that uh, are had between the angels, uh, problems, encounters with the people of Sodom. Uh, Lot has encounters uh, with uh, his wife. Ultimately, towards the end of the chapter, he's going to have an encounter with his daughters and uh, just, just a whole lot of things happen in here. Ultimately, we know that Sodom and Gomorrah are destroyed. Lot leaves. His wife looks back. She becomes a pillar of salt. Uh, Lot and his daughters end up in the mountains and the daughters decide that they're never going to see, uh, have a normal life. They're going to be stuck there forever and they decide they'll have children by their father which clearly is something that ultimately in the law God's going to say is not allowed. Uh, I think it, I suspect it probably was considered an abomination even at that time, but we have no record of it. Two children are born from that. One of them is Moab and the other one is the Ammonites. And we're going to find both the Moabites and the Ammonites uh, referenced many, many times uh, ongoing throughout the scriptures and always in conflict. So once again, we have this, this separation between the good, which at this point in time is the line of, of Abraham and uh, ultimately Isaac, and then kind of everybody else is on the other side. Uh, when we get to chapter 20, we have Abraham and Abimelech. And this is the exact same story we saw when Abraham went to Egypt. Abraham is with Abimelech, and he is, uh, have his wife is declared as his sister, and uh, uh, God doesn't like it. He makes sure Abimelech knows that, and Abimelech ultimately finds out that, that Sarah is his wife, uh, not, his, not just his sister. She is his sister, a half-sister. But he has an interesting phrase in, uh, I think it is in uh, verse, where do I have that? Uh, verse 21. Ah, I just lost the verse. Wait till you see the verse in there. Uh, and see if you think that uh, Abimelech's uh, comments after he finds out are not just a tad sarcastic. Uh, but anyway, I think Abraham probably uh, deserved that. Anyway, when we get to uh, chapter 21, uh, what we have is uh, the birth of Isaac. Isaac uh, now is uh, uh, born uh, to Sarah. It is the offspring of Sarah and uh, Abraham, just exactly like God uh, had uh, told them. And then this conflict between Sarah and Hagar just blows up, and it's even worse, and she sends Hagar out. Uh, there's, there's a conversation between Hagar and God, and then we, we basically end the chapter. So when you're reading through this, look at all the things that are going on. Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, Lot is now uh, living uh, as a fugitive in the mountains where before he was a wealthy man out on the plains. Abraham has had the conflict with God, questioning whether God was going to destroy. Ultimately, he sees God destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And then at the end of all of that turmoil, Isaac is born, the child of promise. Enjoy it. I hope you have a good day, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you.